I think I've got an external Venturi pump working. So this is basically like a GM fuel module disassembled in a bucket now. Um, the pump's down in the corner. The outlet of the pump goes into my external Venturi pump. The in there it has it has a small orifice that feeds the Venturi pump and actually restricts flow to the Venturi pump and then the rest goes through this hose right here to the outlet on the tank top. Actually that's the outlet on the tank top. Right this is just looped back to the return. The return actually goes to this fuel pressure regulator which I've got dumping back into the bucket. The outlet on the Venturi pump is this right here and um, if it's working I should have a discharge over here. You'll see that right there um, is going to be bubbling because that's the return from the um, from the fuel pressure regulator. This fuel pressure regulator bypasses at 58 pounds so I know I'm generating enough pressure to feed 58 pounds there and still feeding the Venturi pump if I've got flow here. Um, I've got all this wired to a jump box right there which I could just flip on and off and test. So here it goes. And there you go. The cherry pump is working. After a few seconds it stabilizes and actually flows pretty decently. And I'm going to take and see how fast I'll actually empty this bucket by putting it into that gallon container. Let's see if it's going to work. At this point, you can kind of see that the fuel pump, the end of the fuel pump, is sucking air, so I just kind of turn the distance again. I think this might actually work. Huh? This actually works better than I expected. This is how far it sucked the bucket dry before it actually quit. You can actually hear the pump make a weird noise. I'm going to shut it off before it burns out. I think I'm pretty happy with this.